Kat, thanks for coming to speak to us. Um, first off, just want to ask you about the UK Youth Climate Coalition. Uh, what's the background for the organisation? Okay, so UKYCC is a not-for-profit organisation and we work to mobilise, empower and inspire young people to take action towards climate change. And what kinds of things are you doing in the UK? Um, we have campaigns, we have a green job campaign, um, people from the UK know youth unemployment is exceptionally high at the moment and we think it's really important to make sure that the jobs which, which are coming up are green jobs and really support the green economy. And what is it you're looking to achieve here in Durban? Okay, um, in Durban, really the international youth movement is really up and coming and really important for young people. I think especially we're trying to mobilise different working groups and just make sure that we have good connections in different countries. Um, we all have different kind of policy backgrounds which we're looking in and we just really hope to take that back to the UK in a domestic level and just really get people inspired and like relate that to like other kind of criteria which is really important. And for people who aren't here at the talks, what, what, what do you make of it here? Um, it's very hectic, it's high pressure, but it's really inspiring. Like, like Especially being a young person, before this we had Conference of the Youth, where there was like, a lot of South Africans and we like looked at training them and then we looked at helping them to meet loads of friends. Um, it's, it is just inspiring, the different people you meet, people generally want to make a difference. And what's the role of young people at these talks? Why is it great that they're here? It's like it's. I think it's one of the most important things. Genuinely, we do we do have a voice. Like I feel like I need to do something because I have a voice and because I care. And they they really they really helping to like lobby on their negotiators. There's people with different backgrounds, and and when they're telling like their country, they're like you you are representing me. It definitely has a power, and like the, especially when we've come in our hundreds, like the young people. So. And what's going to be the next step after this two weeks of campaigning here? What will the UK Youth Climate Coalition be doing next? Well, really important, obviously, is taking this back to the UK. So we've got Power Shift in February, which we're looking will be in Manchester, where there's going to be like hundreds of people come in. We're going to work on how other people can get involved in their local community, doing different steps. And then we also have the Green Jobs campaign, which is really starting to lift off, which we're going to hopefully do some stuff around our government. And for people who want to get involved in these campaigns, how can they go about that? Okay, so UKYCC.org, um, that's really important, they have all the different campaigns on there. Also, like, there's different press groups like Stop Climate Chaos Coalition. They'll have different kind of young people working towards it. Generally, like, small things, that's that really count. So, like, just grassroots level stuff in your local community, That that's kind of what, what builds a movement. And why would you encourage people to get involved in, in the youth movement in the UK working on climate change? Because, because it's like your life. This is this is literally your future. The, the negotiators are here who are like 60 or 70. It isn't, isn't their future to mess with. It's your future they're messing with. And when you're that age, I'd hope you'd take an interest in future generations. So you should do something about it because it's going to impact you the most. Thanks very much for speaking to us.